I'm Peter Gallison. I'm a professor at Harvard University where I teach in history of science and uh, physics. Uh, my work at the moment is oriented around the problem of how technologies reform the self, who we think we are as humans and what we think the nature of, of, of being human is. This particular project is about nuclear waste. I'm interested in what happens to this vast quantity of waste that was produced on the one side making nuclear weapons over the last half century and on the other side produced in the making of, of nuclear power. So this presents a tremendous conundrum. What do you do with this? You can't leave it where it is. It's impossible. It's in rusting barrels and open pits. But then if you decide to bury it, leave it on the surface of the land where nuclear weapons have been tested, then land, then you have to figure out what relationship we have to this land. And that's the first and, and fundamental problem that I'm asking. For a long time I've been interested in the cycle of, of nuclear power and nuclear weapons. How they came to be built, what the moral and political military basis for their construction was, how it affected the physics community and how it changed the role of science in the modern world. I made a film called Ultimate Weapon about how the scientists decided to build the hydrogen bomb and the furious debate over whether they should or shouldn't make a weapon a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb. And now I'm interested in the question of secrecy, of how nuclear weapons and all that surrounded them changed our understanding of the relationship of science and open knowledge. And finally, in this third project, after the building of nuclear weapons and the secrecy that surrounded their construction, then the question is, what happens to this waste? What happens to the detritus of these enormous industrial scale interventions in the world? We don't know the answer to the question what's going to become of nuclear waste. We have some initial attempts in various parts of the world. Some places nuclear waste is being buried in salt mines, as in New Mexico. Some places it's going to be buried in granite caverns, as in Norway. Other places, there are other solutions. Some countries think it should be retrievable in case we have a better form of disposal. Other people, including the United States, has decided to make these, the burial of nuclear waste one that's permanent. But once you make these decisions and you uh, bury the vast quantity of waste underground, then the question is, how do you signal a far distant future about what's there? How do you prevent them from digging into the waste in some huge amount of time in the future? Plutonium has a half-life of, of 24,500 years. So how do you warn a future? How can you speak to them? Our nations won't survive that long. Our languages won't survive that long. And one of the things that I want to speak about today is what the land will be like in the future. The markers, the, the, the systems of communication that we try to penetrate deep time with. How will we cope with trying to speak to a future as far from us as we are from the Ice Age?